Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace be upon you all and welcome to the channel. In this video we will discuss what is known as an entity in HTML called the non-breaking space entity. There is a reason why I did not discuss entities in the lecture related to the architecture of HTML and that is because their usage is quite rare you may not even encounter it at the workplace or in your academic setting. But before we begin, <clears throat> Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, Wa salatu wa salamu ala ashraf al-anbiya'i wal mursaleen, Sayyiduna Muhammad, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man tabi'ahum bi ihsanin ila yawm al-deen, وارض اللهم عنا معهم أجمعين اللهم آمين اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم وبارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد we begin in the name of Allah, the most merciful in this life and in the hereafter. We thank him for all of his blessings that he has bestowed upon us, for they are innumerable. And we pray that we follow in the footsteps of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his fellow companions. Amen. We also ask for prayers and blessings to be bestowed upon Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his followers, as they were bestowed upon Prophet Ibrahim, peace be upon him, and his followers. To demonstrate the purpose of this entity and how it is written, or rather, what is the correct syntax for an entity, I will write a single line, load it onto the server and then view it on the website, then show you the proper syntax for this entity and how it functions. If a human was granted a valley of gold he would wish for two valleys nothing fills nothing fills the eyes of man but sand. I will say man here. Ah, uh, oh, okay. It is more sensical in Arabic, but basically it indicates that humans are greedy by nature. They never settle and they are never content. There are exceptions, obviously. But the general nature of humanity involves greed. Hence why greed is one of the seven deadly sins in Christianity. It is also a sin or a, an annoying hindrance in Islam. It is difficult to speak of it in English because I have to translate everything into Arabic and Arabic is a much is a richer is the richest language on the face of this earth compared to other languages so the information or the nuance would be lost in translation but that is a tale for another time let us deploy this and see how it is displayed perfect if you recall the the engine of the browser can only interpret or translate or detect a single space and only a single space. What if I wish to create a puzzle or a riddle? I believe a riddle is a better term where I delete this word and have the, view, the viewer fill in the blank. So here it will be space and then TWO and then space. So I wish for the user 
or the reader to fill in the space here. I added five spaces. Let us see how this will be rendered on the website. Save and then refresh. As you can see, only a single space has been rendered. It would be best if I surround this with a header tag. That way it is easier to see because it will be larger there. How would I force the engine to actually display these extra spaces? HTML is programmed, or rather the interpreter is programmed to recognize a single space and ignore any other spaces. That is how it is programmed. But how would I be able to program or force the interpreter to interpret these additional spaces instead of ignoring them? How can I enforce such behavior? That is what this entity is responsible for. But before I show you the syntax, I have to go for a moment. I will be right back. Apologies for that. I have returned. Uh, I need to close this. There we go. Just to ensure that everything is in order. Yep. Okay. Here is the syntax for an entity. Remember, as we discussed in the previous lecture related to entities, they always begin with an ampersand, this symbol here. This indicates that the alphanumeric portion following it is a special reservation. It should be interpreted differently by the HTML interpreter or the browser engine. It modifies the behavior of the interpreter or enforces a certain behavior onto the interpreter. So we begin the entity with an ampersand or and followed by the entity itself. What is the entity for or the syntax for non breaking space? Take N B S P. Those four letters constitute the, syn the syntax of the entity. Immediately after the ampersand, as we discussed, N B S P. Non breaking space. Okay, now let us see what happens with this present. Okay, now let us. Now, how many spaces are there? One, two, three. Let us count them in the HTML document. One for this space, two for this space because remember the interpreter can detect a single space and only a single space. This is the third one that we forced the interpreter to render. So we use this specialized entity for this additional space. If you wish to add more spaces, let us say we wish to add three more spaces. One, two, three. So this will be a total of five. One, two, three, four, and five. So let us render it and see. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. 
What if I add a space between the entities? Let us load this, refresh, and see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the interpreter does not ignore the spaces between entities, as you can see here. Obviously, we can add as many as we want, but this serves the purpose that I needed, which is basically to show or highlight to the reader that there is a missing word here. Obviously, I would use an underscore instead of an empty space, but it was an excuse to show the non-breaking space entity. And that is it for this lecture. I hope this video was helpful and beneficial to you all. <coughs> Enjoy the rest of your day, everyone. Be safe, take care, and peace be upon you all. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad kama sallayta ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim wa barik ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad kama barakta ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim fil alameen innaka hamidun majid.